Welcome back to Sportsman 101 everybody. Today we're going to cover a subject that may seem a little silly to some, but it's about one of your most important tools when you're out in the field, and that is your compass. Now we've all met the guy that puffs his chest out and says he doesn't need a compass, but chances are he just hasn't gotten lost yet. It's so easy to get distracted out in the field by game or by going around obstacles that going in a straight line through the woods is just not realistic. It's actually near impossible. So we're going to go over the basics on how to use that compass and how not to use it. So pay attention, the next few minutes could prevent that sinking feeling of being lost one day. Besides, I wouldn't want any of my subscribers to drop off the face of the earth. Some compasses use a needle that always points north, while on others the whole face of the compass moves. If you have a compass where the whole face moves, it will always tell you what direction you're facing. So it's pretty straightforward. There's really no instruction needed with these. But back to those needle compasses. To use one of these properly, follow this. Let's say for example that I want to go straight west. Turn the compass itself until west or W is pointed directly away from you. Next, turn your whole body until the red needle is pointed at north or N. You are now facing west. There's a few different variations of the needle compass out there, but they all work in the same basic principle. I've seen a first time hunter use the wrong side of the needle with one of these compasses during a deer drive. It's definitely one of the easiest ways to get lost so please take note of which side of your north-south needle points north before you go out. My favorite compass is one like this, the globe compass. I can just pin it to my coat sleeve and look down at it whenever I need a direction. I don't need to pull it out of my pocket or hold it flat and it'll always tell me which direction I'm facing. I just need to stop for a couple seconds. Now as hunters, we are often watching for game when walking through the woods and we can't be constantly checking compass readings. So when you find the direction you need to be going, pick a landmark on the horizon in that direction that you can walk towards, like a tall spruce tree. When you get to that tree, Take another reading on your compass and find another waypoint. Now that I've told you how to use a compass, I cannot let you go without a few words of caution. First, never forget that your compass operates with magnets. So anything with a magnetic field that you're wearing or carrying can affect your readings if you're not careful. If you're not sure about something, just put on all your gear and see if your compass still points north. I forgot about this a while back and wore a pair of those mitten gloves that were fastened with magnets rather than velcro during a deer drive. Needless to say, I got lost because my compass was always pointing in the same direction no matter which way I was facing. I eventually used the position of the sun to get out of the woods about two hours overdue. It wasn't till I was out that I realized it was my gloves that threw everything off. My brother came to the area looking for me to make sure I was out and gave me a ride back to deer camp, but I'll catch hell until the end of time for that one. We all laugh about it now, but I admit I was a little more than concerned for a while. Live and learn, right? By the way, this all occurred not too far away from our shack, probably about a half mile. I certainly wasn't new to the area, so it goes to show that it's easy to get turned around just about anywhere. Next, don't think that a GPS is all you need to bring with you. Useful as they are for finding a specific location, a GPS will only work as long as battery life permits, or until it can't find a satellite, or until it gets dropped in a swamp or beaver dam. Sure, there's plenty of waterproof ones out there, but that's kind of beside the point. Electronic devices in the great outdoors just don't seem to mix that well. If you prefer to use a GPS as a compass, that's fine, I really don't have a problem with it. I just recommend that you carry a non-electronic compass as well as a backup. Lastly, and most important rule when using a compass, never forget that a compass is absolutely useless 
unless you know which direction you need to go or at least where you came from. Don't get lost and then start looking at your compass. Always know which direction you need to go to get back to your vehicle or at least the general direction of the nearest highway or road. So when you go chasing that grouse that flew off the logging trail or when you go searching for that special fishing spot in the middle of nowhere, you better know which direction you need to go to get back. It's just too easy to get turned around. So that's about all I have on compasses. I've even shared one of my worst hunting blunders with you. Hopefully you'll learn something from that and not just laugh. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please let me know by giving it a big thumbs up and subscribing to this channel. There's plenty more to come on Sportsman 101. If I missed something important in this video, please share it in the comments below. I don't claim to be an expert on anything. I'm just a guy with some knowledge and experiences to share. Please also feel free to take a look at some of the other videos I have posted. Thanks for watching and happy hunting without getting lost.